Hey, how y'all doing? What's up, buddy? Long time no see, huh? It's the green machine. Yeah. So what you think? Yeah. <laughs> let's see if we adjusted it for you good. So let's go ahead and get you in here. I'm gonna put this down. Yeah. All right. Okay. Got that. Here, boss. You good. All right. There we go. And I'm gonna let Johnny go ahead and. Very cool. You like that? <laughs> it is. How's that headrest? It's a little low. Yeah. Maybe need to come up with that headrest a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's, it's, we want it middle head. We don't want it like on your neck like that. Okay. But we want to still capture a little bit of your neck mm -hmm. to where it helps with swallowing, eating, that kind of stuff. So. Need help because swallowing is always a problem. Yeah. That's more that way. So what we'll do is we'll loosen it and you kind of tell us where you, you feel like it's good. And we can move it back a little bit forward. There you go. We can do that. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> Especially when you do the work. <laughs> but, yeah. but to have someone tell us, oh, yeah, right there, that's good, too. <laughs> How'd your armrest there? One's a little distant. Yeah. This one's a little lower. I'm rich. Yeah, we can adjust that for you. How's this, shoul how's this uh, shoulder feel right here? I don't see any Fine. subluxation or anything. Yeah. This one looks a little elevated, so maybe come down with this one. Yeah. Thank you. I would imagine over time those things are really important. They are. How'd you do that? Magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, it feels even. Yeah, it feels even. Yeah. I took those side pads off right now because mm -hmm. you don't really need them right now with your your independence and your mobility that you have. I think they'll get in the way. But those pads, if you ever do, we can put them right here and they'll help keep you where well, you're not too scrunched. But Swapping. yeah, so you can get a little bit of control. And then let's see your hips. If you can, can you, I'm going to scoot your butt over. Just, there we go, right there. The seat depth looks great. Even with the boots, I mean, are you wearing your boots mostly every day? No. Uh, no? Okay. We just want to make sure your legs are at 90. Take my boots off. No. We want to make sure this is at 90. Right here, 90. You don't want too much downward pressure and you don't want too much upward pressure. Okay. You want to make sure this leg's at 90. Right now, it looks great. If down the road you need me to adjust that, it's adjustable up and down so we can accommodate this angle for you. Your hips look good. You look neutral in there. Now, what tends to happen with recline, you're going to get, it's, it says that you have a little bit of shear in the back, so it kind of moves with you as you go down. Mm -hmm. But what tends to happen is your pelvis still slides forward a little bit. So that's all going to be, let's adjust the belt and see, use it more as a positioning device to keep your butt back when you do that recline. Oh, okay. And uh, it's also a safety device. So, too? yeah. Well, you can't do wheelies without a seatbelt, yeah, can you? No. Yeah. yeah. Is that too tight? Yeah, it's great. I okay. like the sound. I can reach yeah. It. I would say, if it's not uncomfortable for you, leave that buckled all the time. Let's take it for a spin, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So this is where you're gonna turn the chair on. This lever right here. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna on powered on right now you're in indoor one okay if you wanted to change indoor one is programmed at an indoor speed so you're not going to be able to fly through the house no okay bumper no bumper car if you hit that to two you're in normal that's your fastest speed and then if you want you hit the rabbit all the way now you're at the fastest speed you want to drive at that speed yeah all right <laughs> so that's your speed okay that's the fastest so so oh yeah it's a gas pedal the harder you push the faster it'll go so what we're going to do is change it now when you lift it up now you have your seating component through your joystick so you see how this is an elevate the elevate feature go ahead and, and hit your joystick like if you were to drive 
Well, this is going up. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she's already taller than that. This is what she's doing. So oh, now, yeah. eye to eye, we can talk. I like that. Yeah. Also, for your transfers, if you ever need to go to a higher level, like to transfer, to help him transfer, you can elevate what it do up. You mean transfer? So let's say you're at a hotel. You're tired. Mm -hmm. you're, you've been walking all day, you've been whatever, and you're exhausted, and you're in the chair and you're using it, and you can't stand. You can elevate up to the height of the bed, mm -hmm. and she can help you oh, that's, swing over. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So that'll help with transfer and save her back a little bit, you know, for when you go back and forth for that, that when needed. Sense. Yeah. All right, so let's go down now. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can drive in this position. You know that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Go ahead. Here we go. Yeah. So you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this. Okay. Up. Up. Okay. okay. Take off, eh? It's still fast. It's still fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This works. Yeah. Try it out right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to put that back into our seating mode. So you're going to push this forward again. Okay. Now that's your drive. Excellent. Now, when you see this lit up like that, mm -hmm. that means seat elevator. You want to change it to a different seating function. Hit this to your left or to your right. Now you see you got the recline, hit it again. Now you have the tilt, one more time. Now you have the feet. Oh, really? So you can operate it through the joystick or you can operate it through the push buttons, either or. If you want immediate push response, do this. If, you want to, if you're in the joystick and you want to toggle through, you can do it through that as okay. well. So that's the, the seating components and the joystick. So go ahead and go ahead all the way down again for me. So let's say you want to tilt. So what I'd like for you to do now is tilt through the buttons for me. With the buttons, go ahead and tilt. Yes, sir. There you go. You tilt it all the way down now. What this chair has is about a five degree anterior tilt. And that's what this is right here. With that anterior tilt, when you, again, having a rough day, you want to need help transferring, you can go anterior, put your feet on the ground, and you have that little bit of a oomph to get up, right? Yeah. So, all right, now go ahead and do it the opposite way. I know what's coming. More? How far? As far as you feel comfortable with. Oh, I don't know. You got the headrest back there. There you go. Boy, you're large to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can push that button too and come in through me too. You could drive the space shuttle. Can I drive like that? I mean, like, that's how they drive, right? Yeah. That's how they have to sit in the space shuttle, right? Yeah. Just push okay. the buttons on the ceiling. <laughs> so there you go. That's your uh, tilt, so that's your tilt feature. That's, you, you want to do that for pressure management. So yeah. taking that pressure off your butt, putting it onto your back, that's the, the best thing for your pressure management. And then you can open up your seat the back angle as well. And that, can I play with you? Sure. It's your buttons. Play with them. Let's see how, let's see how much that headrest moves with that recline. Yeah. You see with recline how it has that little bit of shear to where your headrest moves a little bit yeah is that uncomfortable for you right there for the full recline position if you're in this position or you enjoy this position i can adjust the headrest to where it would be okay all right you're going to use this position again we're thinking you know if you need let's say your shirt changed by doing this someone can come and change your shirt Oh, also, true. incorporating this in with the tilt is going to be adequate pressure relief for you. That's what you need is the, the optimal pressure relief by rec rec reclining and tilting at the same time. Jim Gleason said it's a good idea to be always two months ahead or more for everything. Yeah. So I can see already 
how some of this will be useful in the future. Yeah. And it's already here, right. which has to be just secure. Exactly. And uh, a bit hopeful. That's you awesome. I'm being yeah. taken care of. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. This is this is uh, going to be a chair that's also, as you know, needed. It's it's adaptable. So My arms and legs. Arms, legs, and the good thing about the ALS uh, Association <coughs> and Team Gleason is both of them have loaner closets. So, let's say you want to try something, you know, we can pull from those loaner closets to help you try any type of other control device. With this joystick, we have programming in this joystick that allows us to adjust the throw. So the amount of force that it takes for you to push forward, really? yeah, we can dampen that or we can increase that, whatever we want to do. So that'll help keep you mobile with the joystick, you know, if, if you start to have a little decline with your fingers or whatever your strength. So this chair is completely adaptable, programmable for you as you move forward. Yeah. Do you have any questions about anything in the chair or oh. anything we didn't go over? Oh, let me show you freewheel. So, God forbid something happens to where the chair stops running. What's the All right, deal? I'm about to show Don't you. Don't do that and show them to get a hill and just take <laughs> it off. <laughs> so you want to make sure the chair is turned off. And if the chair is dead, let me get my hands. if the chair is like the batteries are dead or something where it stopped working, you want to make sure the joystick's always off, okay? okay. Nice. So you have two levers on your motors. This one. You're going to flip that down, and then you got one on this side, and you're going to flip this down, and then you can push the chair. So, again, you broke down, at least we can move the chair with the freewheel, you know. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a push, but it's not crazy push, you know. I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Let's say my grandson... He's playing with this. Is there a way to shut it off so that he can't turn this on or run it? Um, Is there a master switch somewhere? There's a master switch in the back if you're talking about where you don't want him to come and turn the joystick on at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look back here, there is a switch. Let's see. You see this right here? So you get that, you turn that, and that's the breaker, and you can't turn it on. You can't turn it on. So you make sure you turn that no, back. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so if he can find that, he's very smart, because that's hidden underneath the shroud and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he can't see it. He can't see it, yeah. So if you don't engage the brakes back before you turn the chair on, it's going to give you an error code. So make sure you put the brakes back the way they were in the up position. And then, and then you're going to turn the chair on. So your charger is automatic. You have three pin here. And it's going to go right here into the front. Just like that. Oh. That's, that's easy enough. You're going to plug this into the wall. Automatic, no on off buttons. As soon as it's done, when you wake up, just unplug it and that's it. Let's say we go for a week, weekend, right? Yeah. And I don't take the chair with me. Do yeah. I leave it plugged in or unplugged? I would leave it plugged in. And that's the charging. So a good six to eight hours, you want to charge that. I'm comfortable. It feels good? Mm -hmm. How's your butt feel? I know that's not a question, it probably. Of, um, yeah. It kind of hollows out how I'm sitting there. Yeah. And it's comfortable. Awesome. It's as comfortable as my hiding seat, and that's all that matters. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. You're awesome, man. You yeah. really are. That's kind of humble pie. <laughs> I know, but you're yeah. very, you're, you're, you. you're a great guy. That when I think, man, I wonder if I could do that train trip. I wonder if I should go there this weekend. I'm like, huh, Steve can do it? I, I can do it. <laughs> that's right. If I could do that from somebody yeah. else. Let's do it. Hey, buddy. It was great. Thank great you. seeing you. I'm glad thank you, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so tickled. Awesome.